Hello my fellow highway travelers. This video is intended to help you make traveling less stressful, more safe, more enjoyable. Rarely do we get an opportunity to examine our own choices, our driving styles, our habits. So this video will give you an opportunity to make improvements where, where opportunity exists. This is our 10 going westbound through Beaumont. As we leave Beaumont, only the two left lanes continue on our tent. So often for new travelers to this road, they will jump in that right lane to continue on 10 out of the two left lanes at the last minute. So that's something to be mindful of that there will be a lot of people on the highway that is not familiar with the roadway. And they might not also pay close attention to what's happening. So at the last minute, they might make erratic moves. Let's continue on. In this particular case, on this day, there is a work convoy, which means the left lane is going to be blocked. You see here that there's a truck parked on the right shoulder, so there's a hesitance to be in that right lane, even though there is an exit lane, so you don't know how people are going to respond to that. Now, you'll notice me slow down. I'm the truck. I'm the white truck where the video is recorded. You'll notice that I slow down as the big truck in the left lane comes up on slower traffic. It's not the video slowing down. It's me slowing down along with the truck in the left lane so that that truck is able to determine that it's safe for him to get over in the right lane without me smashing him. Remember, I told you the left lane is blocked up ahead. He isn't ready to get over in the right lane. But after advancing a little ways, one car in fact, he decides it makes sense to go ahead on and get over. The car doesn't like it. The car decides he doesn't want to be behind the truck and he tries to advance. All the traffic, well, a lot of the traffic that was behind the truck in the left lane, or at least coming up on us in the left lane, decides they're going to try to go, go up as far as they can go. When you see this, immediately it should allow you to determine that you might need to slow down dramatically at any point. And especially with the straggler coming up behind us and squeezing in between me and the truck in front of me in what used to be a cushion of space. And as I look at this video, I would even suggest allowing more space. However, it's a little tricky. And this is the chest of the travel on the highway. Too much space is an open invitation. And instead of one or two people trying to get in between you and the vehicle in front, you have 10. So now you, you're you seen as a target. You have everybody rushing up there. So that's the trick in trying to find just the right amount of space in addition to being safe because it can counter itself. You know, if you leave too much space, then all you're going to do is create an opportunity for people to decide that I need to get in that space. And instead of, again, instead of having one or two people deciding to try to squeeze in, you have 10, 15 targeting you and rushing up so that's why you know you don't just you have to consciously and actively decide on how much space it's not like the more space you leave the safer you are no there's a point at which that's counterproductive so let's move on um you can see that the car ends up having to hit the brake because the truck in front of them has to slow down and if why it's so important not to squeeze in like this is because if I wasn't paying attention or had slow reflexes or any other traffic behind me wasn't able to quickly adjust to the dramatic slowdown, then it could easily open the door for an uh, accident. So be smart, relax, um, tailor your driving style, not to be so aggressive and self-centered and wanting to advance and be ahead of the pack just relax you see how very short this little slowdown was so it really was not worth it did not make sense to try to squeeze in there you know, or first go up to the last minute in that left lane to get as far as you can go it just doesn't make sense when you really look at it from the big picture point of view so learn from that as you can as far as the truck that was parked on the side, at least he's not beside the highway and he's on the side of an exit ramp. 
I think it's pretty stupid to be parked on the side of the highway unless you're broke down. Uh, it causes too many problems of other travelers, and it's too much of an opportunity for a problem. On the side of an exit ramp is much better, but I feel I think it's better to park on the side of a get on ramp rather than an exit ramp if you have to. But let's move on to the next video. In the ex in the next video, I like to highlight some wonderful things that drivers are doing right. You'll see here, first of all, you might wonder why the truck won't ride in the right lane. And there's several reasons, and it depends on the time of day and the amount of traffic. I'm in the left lane because I'm empty, so I can pull off pretty quickly. And with this much traffic at this time of day, there's much more likely people are going to be turning right out of that right lane into the, these shops or uh, side streets or what have you. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't like to use the turn signal, which I find ridiculous and lazy, but that's what we are dealing with. Again, a lot of people don't think about the impact of their driving styles and their poor habits. And a lot of rear-end collisions happen as a result of that. Now, I want you to watch this driver in the right lane as the driver leaves space for someone else that needs to exit the parking lot to come out into the roadway. And you'll also notice that instead of me pulling off immediately, I pause to make sure that driver didn't want to hit the left lane so that he can make a left turn. You should look out for your fellow driver when you have an opportunity to do so in the same way. That makes using the highway much more enjoyable, less stressful, because you will want someone to do the same thing for you.